So I just finished building my second Class AB amplifier. This one is a little bit more advanced. So we have a negative 12 volt rail and a positive 12 volt rail. So I'm using two different rails to provide a full 24 volts of swing. So let's plug in the transformer. So here's the O scope, the signal I'm generating. Currently at about 1800 hertz. You can see it's quite clean. And here we have a 100 hertz test tone. All right, let's talk about how this amplifier works. This is a very classic class AB design, very straightforward. First of all, the music was coming from my phone that is currently connected and we could see the leads go into here. So let's talk about what's happening. So first we have the phone sharing a common ground here. So we have the ground bus. The negative 12 volt power supply goes into the ground. The positive 12 volt goes into the ground. And then we have the speakers also going into the ground. So that's common across the board. The phone signal goes into these capacitors, which essentially help eliminate a DC coupling here. So they, they'll provide an AC wave. That bleeds into the first set of transistors. We have an NPN, negative, positive, negative, and PNP, positive, negative, positive. So these are two types of transistors that have energy flowing in different directions. The idea is that within the AC signal, Half of the signal goes through this guy, the other half under zero volts. So when we're talking about negative voltage, goes into this guy. So 0.6 volts positive from the phone here, and when the sign signal hits under zero, we go into this guy. What they do is they amplify the signal a little bit. So we have a bias of about 1 to 100. So they'll amplify the signal with the power coming in from the different rails. That signal then will make its way into the second set of much larger transistors. And these are the ones that are really driving the speakers at the end of the day. Same concept, push, right? So positive, negative, positive, and pull, negative, positive, negative. So this transistor ends up feeding the this guy, which then pulls from that 12 volt rail. Same thing with this guy, does it backwards. All of that, signal eventually goes into this capacitor which again helps with essentially coupling so the energy will go positive into here into the speaker and negative and it'll go back and forth back and forth so very very classic design maximum theoretical efficiency i believe is about 50 percent because all of this circuitry here is actually generating a lot of heat even if you're not using the amplifier so even if you have no signal going in, you'll see that I could actually feed in. Sorry, let me disconnect my phone. You can see we still have half an amp from one rail going in, being used. So this is generating heat. That's a class AB design, pretty straightforward.